please don't hurt me. I was only exploring. What is this? I heard the legends. I only wanted to see if they were true. Oh, oh, oh. Legends cannot compare to the horror of your departure from this plane. Wait, 101. I shall teach you. everyone, it's your friend Think Noodles, and welcome back to Think Reacts, where today we are reacting to the Game Tunes video, Ambush Sad Origin Story. Now, I haven't been reacting to these uh, recently all that much because uh, they've been like Rainbow Friends related, and I don't know a lot about Rainbow Friends, not as much as I do about Doors. Now that they're finally doing a Doors origin story in a Doors video, we're gonna check it out. I mean, like, look, five months ago seems like it was the last true story of Doors been a while so let's go ahead and like the video because we definitely want them to do more doors animations i'm already subscribed i don't have to tell you please like and subscribe to my video as well you guys already know we are trying to get to 10 million subscribers and every little bit helps so let's see what the origin of ambush is and i'm gonna go ahead and call this in advance because i've watched enough game tunes to know that it's gonna start as a person something's bad is uh, is gonna happen to them as a child and uh, someone is going to change them into ambush. I'm just calling it now because it happens in every single one. This guy looks very upset. Oh, okay. Uh, one second in, I've already stopped the video. Yeah, if you guys want to watch the original without me being annoying and stopping the video every second, like literally right now, <laughs> I'll put a link in the description so you can check it out. But I've just got to say, this guy's an idiot. You heard ambush. You definitely should not be running. You should be popping in and out of closets, under beds, whatever. Not running. You cannot outrun ambush. Ah! Dude, what are you doing? Wait, wait, what is this? That's just it. The next floor. I'm wait, gonna make it. What next floor? Wait a minute. Okay. Again, 13 seconds in. Uh, that is not the next floor. That is the door to the library. Everybody knows that's the entrance door to the library. So he's going to see figure if this is accurate. I'm not sure this is accurate. <sighs> Come on. Wait, this is the next floor. Yeah, OK, OK, like OK. A library. I mean, it Does looks a little different. Still... Wait, ah! it is time for your demise. Prepare your essence for its deconstruct. Wait a minute. That's Boxy Boo's voice. What? No one can get you in here. I promise. <laughs> Hold on. Wait, prepare your what? Hold on. And look at his mouth going sideways. What? Okay. Nice. Prepare your essence for its deconstruction. Prepare. So wait, ambush followed him? Uh, please, please don't Into the me. library? I was only exploring. I heard the legends. I only wanted to see if they were true. Legends, legends cannot compare what? to the horror of your departure from this plane. I shall teach you. Uh, oh, so he just got killed by ambush. Wait. Uh, oh, crucifix! Uh, Let's no, go! They can stop! Yeah! So this is a, an animation post door uh, hotel bus update. Ooh! Uh, there was a time. Oh no! There was Wait. a time long ago. Okay, okay, they're gonna the read it. Okay. Before the cottage. Before I roamed these halls in search of souls to steal. I was but a simple bellboy. I knew it! Did I not call? Okay, well, I, I don't know about the troubled youth part and like growing up, like, you know, I don't know where, I don't know, people hid luggage or something and. <laughs> You know, uh, and he loved to carry luggage and then he wanted to be a bellboy his whole life. And then his parents hit whatever. Anyway, it ended up it start. So this is ambush telling the story. And he started out as a simple bellboy in a hotel and something is going to change him into ambush. Tasked with providing stellar service and appeasing each and every one of our guest demands. Yeah, it's hard to imagine, but this hotel was once a glamorous vacation getaway for I the wealthy. I believe it. It's it actually hosted pretty nice. only the richest, most esteemed patrons and was viewed as the pinnacle of class. But of course, such Whoa. a reputation attracts a certain set of customers. I was mistreated wow. by our guests, See? to say the least. See, OK, so I was wrong about it being a childhood mm. mistreatment. It, it, it was mistreatment at work. See, it's always the same formula. They've got to change it up and like throw us a curveball once where you're just like, oh, I don't know. It was a dog. It, it never was. A, it wasn't a human to begin. With. I don't know. <laughs> or maybe it was it was always a monster born a monster and be and, and, and it just gets worse. But always starting out as a human. They were always all terribly mean and demanding. Whether I was scrubbing their floors or primping their pillows, nothing I did ever seemed to be enough. It was humiliating Ew! on a daily basis. OK, she spit 
the drink in his face because I don't know if it was warm or something, but that looks like pee. I don't know. Maybe. Wait a minute, Ambush. Did you pee in the glass and try and pass it off as champagne? Huh? Huh? Degrading. Maybe you deserve this. I was yelled at constantly. And when it wasn't yelling, it was wow. laughing. How does she have I that much? I lost count of all the times I was intentionally embarrassed by guests purely for their amusement. It doesn't matter how ridiculous, petty, or dangerous it was. Oh no my. matter the request, it was my job as a well, bellboy at to least, serve at least silent didn't enthusiasm. Hit the, head. the worst was getting luggage up to their rooms. Why? Yeah, an elevator, of course. But that was oh, for guests yeah. only. Dun, dun, I had to take dun, the stairs dun, dun, every dun, time. Dun, dun, if any bellboy was caught using an elevator, they would be fired on the spot. How did they tip? He Wait, might be 101? This is floor two, dude. Who is this guy? He's a big fella. Wondering, with such deep pockets, you'd think they'd be generous. Yeah, tips. But you'd be Good wrong. Tips, right? what, they what? had as much money in their wallets as they had hate in their hearts. But I never saw a dime. That being said, really? I guess torment I always was my the least boy. of your concerns if you made a mistake. Bellman. You see, the hotel provided us bellboys with food in addition to a meager monthly pay. It definitely wasn't anything special. Wait, but they left him, made him live in the basement when he was off and he has to stay in his uniform? And what is this, mashed potatoes? But if a guest made any sort of complaint Ew, about they didn't you, give him a fork. you wouldn't get anything. And on hungry nights, you'd give about anything for just one bite of that disgusting slop. But despite all the torment I experienced as a bellboy, it was a lone silver lining. The tranquil majesty of the hotel oh, library. All right. There were shelves upon shelves of books, mm -hmm. stacked to the ceiling, with not a price tag to be found. I spent countless nights in that library, filling my mind with all that my life lacked. Riches, adventure, glory. It was an escape from the guests. Gone with the blocks instead of gone with the wind. Now, the, the interesting part about this so far is we're almost halfway through the video and he's not mentioned any other employees or even like his boss. I mean, I think he kind of mentioned it, but we never have seen any other employees, only guests. From the management, so, from the hunger. Mice and blocks of mice and Moby blocks? Only temporary. You see, it wasn't Ooh, long after my discovery of the library oh, hey, that his books began to cause trouble. The great I've been showing up late. Uh -oh. I've been neglecting oh, guests. Boss. I often disappeared for hours on end to hide among the bookshelves. But my CEO? greatest sin oh. of all was provoking the eye of one Thatcher T. Pennybags, owner Thatcher and proprietor of the very hotel that housed, clothed, and sometimes fed me. Okay, so housed, clothed, and sometimes fed him. So he literally does live there, and the Monopoly man uh, owns the place. My fate was in his hands, and he knew it. He was smart. You have to give him credit for that. He knew immediately how to hurt me the most. Oh, I must shit. have served a thousand. No. 10,000 guests, each okay. one seemingly more wretched than the last. But Pennybags, <laughs> he was worse than all of them combined. He took away the one thing that I still loved about the hotel. The one thing that kept me going. The library. The books. Oh, all because he no. knew what it would do to me. Uh oh. It still makes me sick to think about it. Did he convert he himself into evil. ambush? There's That's no why he was so word angry? For it. Inflicting his cruelty onto me. His lowly employee seemed to be the only way the man knew to express joy. Whoa! He's so evil. Listen to his laugh. From that day forward, I knew I wasn't going to let him. Oh, or you're any one of those, those awful people, guests huh? push me oh. around ever again. Uh oh. I didn't care what they did to me. I would make them pay. Bro, you're Sometimes kick you out. it's hard to explain what that gonna, change was. But I wasn't taking smack from anybody anymore. That was for sure. Oh. I wasn't going to be played with you like kill that. somebody. I hated the hotel. I hated the guests. There's a candle. But most of all, I hated that your tea penny bags. So I made a plan. I was going to sneak into the Timothy. library under the oh. cloak of night and steal as many books as I could carry. I knew that eventually I'd probably be caught, but I didn't care. I had my heart set on taking back what was rightfully mine. Well, and after all, hold up a second. Was it yours? Like, I think Mr. Pennybags, as mean as he is, bought those books. They don't really belong to you. Uh, I mean, he could have been nicer and let you read them if you weren't stealing them. Well, they don't really belong to you. <laughs> They're not consequences were unforeseeable. Uh huh. I feel like you did this to yourself. Oh, brother. come on. Oh, 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 whoa, whoa wait, what? what the? Hold on. The hotel was haunted before ambush? Like, eyes existed, seek existed? We, oh, I remember, like, 
a few videos ago on uh, doors. I think the one that I was referencing, like the true story of Roblox doors, where the husband and the wife, uh, the wife became eyes, the husband was Seek, and she's like, look at me, look at me, look at me. Uh, and, and yeah, and I think, yeah, I think he was Seek, right? Oh my yeah. God. So they might do it. Maybe Mr. Pennybags has nothing to do with it. That's why your candle went out, by the way, buddy. No, open up. Yeah, that happens too. Don't hurt me, please. Huh? Where did that creature Don't go? look at her. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Mr. Pennybags? He What's did going it? On here? What's going on is that you are trying to break into my library. Well, how do you know that? I mean, you're going to pay. Wait, uh, the oh, crucifix oh. works on regular people? No. <laughs> The crucifix turned him into ambush. One might think, what? given the sadistic nature of penny it bags, stops essence, entities. It doesn't that this make was a entities. crime Maybe that's how they're linked. Hatred. But there was another reason to dispose of me. With how long I spent in that library, it was only a matter of time before I stumbled upon his secret. The we'll key to his history. power, to his business success. Ooh. It was all thanks to that book. My good gracious, the sheer audacity of these guests. Why, Mr. Green made the most unwelcome request this morning. Uh, pick egg, pick up eggs with syrup and a pancake room uh, with nature milk. I can't read it. I just, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I <laughs> That's some weird stuff going on in there. He I'm, spilled his thoughts into its pages. Most of them hateful. And yeah. For every hateful word he nature wrote, milk. the power of the book increased. The book uh -huh. reflected its author, and its power grew Oh, dark. it's like Tom Riddle's diary. Days. There we go. Oh, I was right. It was a shopping list. Pickled eggs with maple syrup and a glass of room temperature milk. Ugh. Who's he? That's what that guy wanted? Uh, like, who? That, I mean, it, it's questionable uh, what kind of palate this guy has, but I don't think it's that bad. I mean, I wouldn't eat or drink any of that, especially not all together. Pennybags hate okay. was impressed upon it. I mean, just asking fall for into some someone else's eat. hands could undo everything he worked for. In his twisted mind, he had to get rid of me, and death wasn't an option. He needed something even oh, more. Oh, he thought you were gonna read the book. He turned me into a specter. A, a lost specter. soul trapped between oh, the human true. world and the afterlife. Yeah, Down yeah, yeah. to the grounds of this hotel. The chains of the crucifix burned like hot fire. My hate had made me strong. With all the strength I could muster, I fought back and was able to Broke break the free. chains. What? This is impossible! Oh, he yeah. killed Mr. Pennybags! After that, get well, him! There's no other way to say it. I went on a rampage. I had my revenge against yep. Pennybags, sure, but I also haunted those guests, and I'd do it again. And I again, and again, and so again. Bad, oh! Most of them were gone before darts. checkout. And without penny bags, the remaining staff soon left after. Ah, I see, there's the, the mention back where it belonged and retired myself to feasting on to kill a blocking bird blocks the adventures <laughs> such as yourself. <laughs> oh like done 50 blocks of rain. I'm, I'm so oh. sorry. He's really, oh. sorry? You're sorry? You shall be the one who is sorry, you no, miserable he, he's being nice to you, dude. Bring me here to mock me? No. To make me relive it all? No, is this I don't your think mortal that's... idea of chest? If you don't remember, I'm too powerful to be conquered by your puny crucifix. It didn't work for that cheap skate penny Wait, bags, and it's not going See? to work for you either. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, he was just being nice. Wow, ambush sucks. <laughs> I thought that there was going to be like... You know, like uh, in some of like the Project Playtime ones, like there's redemption uh, where like, oh, Boxy Boo is actually not a, not bad, right? He started out as a kid and he was making toy boxes and, you know, his parents were mean and stuff. And, you know, he really didn't mean it. And he, he's like turning the corner, but it doesn't seem like Ambush is going anywhere near that. I think he's evil forever because that guy even said he was sorry. He's like, no, you're not. I'm going to kill you. Well, uh, I don't. <sighs> Is that a sad origin story? It's definitely an origin story, but I think a lot of it was self-inflicted. Uh, Mr. Pennybags was was mean and all, but like this guy was already pretty upset on his own. Maybe if he'd been, I don't know, less obsessed with like taking it out on the guests and stealing books and stuff, and maybe found another job where you know, that you could afford to live somewhere else instead of like at work, uh, we wouldn't have had to go here, but 
here we are. Uh, anyway, I hope they do more doors based content. If you want to see that, uh, see me react to it, click the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching. And of course, new line.